Hello, hello, and welcome back to Derail Valley Simulator. Uh, yeah, we're going to get continued on our little crew here. It's been a couple months since I've actually played this, uh, so do bear with me as I get my bearings again. Yeah, it might be a little bit rusty uh, starting out, uh, but I think we're going to be fine. I think we're going to be fine. So if I remember correctly from the last video, uh, we are currently up here at the goods factory. Uh, we was going to be heading to the food factory, and I believe I was wanting to take two trains to the food factory. So we're going to take these two here. We have, uh, okay, so we need to be looking for GF, FH, uh, 48 and 24, 48 and 24. Here's 24. So it's going to be this line of cars here, and it looks like the next ones are going to be right next to it. Come out here a bit. Okay, so we'll be taking, uh... This one and this one. Okay, let's get in our train. Let's get them uh, kind of hooked up and ready to go. We'll just use this back brake to get us slowed down. There we go. All right, let's get her hooked up. Check. And check. We have to uh, release the brake on the train here, on the cars. There it is. All right, all right. Let's get back in the locomotive and let's go. And that should be good. Okay, let's go ahead and just run out there. Okay, let's get her hooked up. Check. There we go. And we just need to release the uh, the car brake here or the uh, yeah, whatever these are called. There we go. And let's just pull up toward the front of the uh, area and we'll take off from there. So we're gonna stick it back up into drive, make sure all brakes are released as they are, and let's go. And we're just gonna run out, head over here and pick up our, uh, our, our jobs here. So we're gonna take this one here, right? Stick it in the machine, there we go. I forget how to hold it. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, yeah, we got it. Okay. And then let's grab this one. Slap it in there, right? Okay, there we go. Uh, can we organize these? I can't remember, actually. Oh, yeah, we can. So we're going to bring this out to the back here. 48 and 24. We're just going to double check our cars real quick and make sure we got them. 24. 48. Okay, beautiful. All right, now let's just plan our route real quick. Okay, so we're going to be making a right once we get out of here, a left, and then another left. Okay, I think we're ready. Uh, let's go ahead and release our brakes. Slap this down to one and one. And we're going to go ahead and sit like so. And we are ready. We are ready. And we don't want to be spinning our tires at all, so... Once again in the DM3. Pretty exciting, pretty exciting. I will tell you what, this is one of my favorite locomotives to drive. And pretty excited. I have not even touched the slug yet. Uh, so I'm pretty excited to actually find that. Three, two. Then, of course, our next gear will be two, three. Uh, and then we will switch up to three, three. So, how fast are we going? We're going about 30. I'm not too sure what the speed is on this uh, route. Uh, but we'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. Okay.
Okay, everything seems to be going swell. We're gonna shut that door a little bit. Yep, how fast are we going? 45, beautiful. Getting ready to hit 50. Uh, let's see if we could find a speed somewhere. I think I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit here. Actually, we're gonna throw it up into 3-3. Three, three. Okay, let's see if we can see a sign somewhere. Now, what did we say our route was gonna be? Uh, right, left, left. Okay, easy enough. Easy, easy peasy. Okay, here we go. Uh, 60. Okay, we can let off the throttle a bit. Now let's pull out our switch. And we are making a right. Beautiful. And how fast are we supposed to be going? 60. Okay. How fast are we going? Let's go ahead and uh, throw down the throttle. We're going to hit that engine brake just a little bit. Get it down to 60. That looks just fine right there. And it will be 60 all the way through. And then we need to switch it to the left. Indeed, indeed. Yep. Beautiful. And it will be 70, so we don't have to worry about our speed too much here. Or, I apologize, it looks like it'll be 60. So we're just going to kind of keep uh, keep going where we're at right now. And we could give it a little bit of throttle. And then the next one will be a left as well. And it does appear that it does want us to maintain at 60. So we'll just give it a little bit of throttle. Not a lot. Just enough to get it back up to close to 60, right? Indeed, indeed. Okay. We do have a little bit of a, a hill coming up here, so we'll keep an eye on that. Maybe give it a little bit of extra throttle to make sure we can make it up. I mean, obviously we're going to be able to make it up. Our speed is dropping, however. So we may... Yeah, I think we're good on our RPMs, or tachometer there. Maybe we should downshift just one notch. Nope. I think we're good. We're right where we were. Oh, we are slowing down a bit. Let's go ahead and drop it to... 2-3. Yeah, this should be good. And let's take a look at our map real quick here. Okay, we still got a little bit of a ways to go, but we will be making a hard, hard left up there. It is slowing down uh, quite a bit here. We're on 2-3 right now, so the next gear will be... three two, I think. Okay, let's uh, downshift one. There we go. Give it a little bit more throttle here. See if we can maintain. Okay. I think we're doing good. We'll go ahead and just uh, throttle down just a little bit here. We need to pay attention to our oil temperature, of course. Our oil, we don't really need to pay attention to. It's slowing down. We're going to go ahead and uh, full throttle it here. See if we can maintain. The temperature's going up pretty fast. There we go. Okay, I think we're good. 800 RPM. Our left is coming up, however, so we will pay, keep our eye on the road here. 
or the track as it were. Uh, but we're maintaining pretty good. Temperatures are going up just slightly. We're going to go ahead and drop that just by one. Yep, there we go. Tachometer is staying steady. Speed is staying pretty steady, slightly increasing. Okay, here it comes. So we need to make sure we are heading left, of course. Okay, it's still a ways up there. But everything seems to be staying pretty steady. Uh, temperatures are slightly going up. We're just going to down throttle. Oh, no, that's our tachometer. I'm sorry. I thought it was our temperatures. We could have actually stayed right where we were. So we're going to go ahead and increase it just by one. Now, this is a pretty light load, so it's not like we have to worry too much. Uh, but the speed is down to 30, which is fine. We're sitting just over 20. And let's pull out this, make sure we're heading left. There we go. Almost missed it because of that tree. But we are fine. We are fine. Okay, we're going to downshift by one. There we are. And we're going to give it a, a little bit more throttle here. We'll back it off just one from full throttle. Okay, we're speeding up pretty good here. Now it is only 30, so we don't want to get too crazy. And once we get around the bend, it's going to be at a 40, but it is a down slope, so we'll have to keep an eye on our speeds, right? Uh, but we're only at 20, so we still have a ways to go. So let's go ahead and just kick this up a little bit. Now our rear should be, yeah. Our rear's off of the 30 uh, kilometer track, so let's go ahead and shift this into 2-3. And we'll keep the throttle all the way down for now. Oh, and we may need to go ahead and do half engine brake. Okay, it's 50 once we get around this corner. Uh, we have to make sure the back end of our cars uh, stay off of the track, or make sure the back of our cars are at at that 50 mark though okay we should be good we're gonna go ahead and release this and we'll just kind of let her coast i think except for we do have a 30 coming up so we need to crank this engine brake on quite a bit let's get it down I think we could let off the engine brake. We're pretty much right at 30. And maybe not. Uh, yeah, we'll keep that on because we're still going quite a bit over. And we don't want to be throwing this off the tracks. It's the last thing we need, right? Let's take a look at our cars real quick. Everything seems to be going smooth. We're just over 30. The speed is 30, so I think we got this. And let's see, what is it going up to? It's going to stay at 30. Uh, let's see, where are we? Okay, we're actually coming up to our track, so we are going to leave that on. Um, I did not prepare, obviously, for where these go. Okay, D to I and C41. D to I and C41. Now let's pull out our station map. We need to go to the food factory. Okay, we are. It's going to be a bit confusing here. Uh, let's see. What did we say? D41 and C something? C41. Okay. So if we just go straight, we'll get close to C41. So we'll drop that one off first. A, B, C. Okay, C41, and then once we get over there, 
It'll be the second, uh, the first one to the left. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. Uh, let's just kind of turn off our engine brake for now. Nope, maybe we should leave that on. Uh, we could probably downshift a bit here. Oops. Why did that do that? I thought I had the throttle all the way down anyway. Maybe because the engine brake's on. Oh yeah, okay, that was a mistake. Okay, 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 so don't screw up, don't screw up. We need to go straight. Okay, C41, first one to the left. Let's pull out our switch. Um, it should be this one, right? Okay, let's get it. There we go, and this one to the right. Okay, I can't really see, um... Yeah, C4I. I keep saying one, but it's an I. So, we will drop that off. And which one is it going to be? The 24? And I don't... Uh, I think that's the one on our back, right? It is. Okay, perfect. So, let's release our engine brake. And get pulled straight in here. Once we're up to the end of the line, we will decouple. And then we will figure out how to get to our other uh, drop-off spot. Well, we don't really need to do that yet. We just need to get all the way to the end first, and then we can slow down. Yeah, yeah, should be good, should be good. I mean, as soon as these cars are inside here, we could technically uh, uh, drop them off, but we're gonna just pull all the way up. We have three cars uh, behind us, and then the five that we're dropping. So let's just throttle down. We could probably start applying our trailer brake. And then let's go ahead and apply this brake. Okay, and this should be good. Let's go ahead and get out there. It looks like it's all within inside. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, and we'll, we will double check just to be sure. So this is cart number 24. And this is 24 in track C41. So let's go ahead and apply the brake. And let's decouple. All right, first things first, we're gonna decouple the lines. And then we decouple that. All right, and now we need to send these over to D, uh, D2I. So let's see where we're at. Okay, uh, wrong page, here we go. So we're here basically, right? So if we pull all the way up, then we can just back into D4I, okay? From the north uh, east. And then if we're coming from the northeast, uh, what did we say it was? Oh, D2I, my, my mistake. Uh, and then once we back in, it's just literally right in the straight in the uh, center track. Okay, well, that's easy enough. Center track, uh, let's just go back to A so we can kind of see where we're at. Okay, we're just going to pull forward past that junction here and then past this one here and then reverse back in. That should be fine. Uh, otherwise, what we could do is actually back up and then pull in forward, but I think it'll be a little bit more fun to just back the whole thing in. I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, I figure you should probably probably go with the flow of traffic, uh, but we can't back up because we have cars behind us. So, yep, we're just gonna keep pulling forward. All right, let's do this. Okay, and we got a couple little DH, uh, what is these called again, DH4s? Uh, DE2s, that's right. Oops. Okay, let's go. Release all brakes, of course. We'll shut our door. We'll wait for these brake lines to, oh, they're already empty. Uh, let's go ahead and kick her down to one and one. And we are off. Beautiful. Okay, okay. Okay, we need to pay attention to our gears here. We're going to go ahead and one, two. And yeah, I think we just have to go past this one. 
Let's go ahead and go to 2 1. Okay, we don't want to go too far now. Okay, so this is the first junction right here. And then that'll be the second one right here. Not this way, but this way. Or no, my mistake. Okay, yeah. Okay. So we just have to get past this junction here. And we just got to make sure our last train gets past that last one. Let's go ahead and just throttle all the way down. Okay, I think we can apply our brakes now. Let's pull out our uh, comms tool. Okay, we should be good. Let's go ahead and slap her into reverse. Kick that back down, release the brake. Hit it in reverse, wait for those brake lines to bleed, and we are ready to roll. Now this shouldn't be too bad. Uh, there was one little turn off, right? Uh, on that one S right here, uh, but that should be already set to go straight. So we shouldn't have to worry too much. We should be able to pull right into the spot that we're going. Uh, let's go ahead and throw her into 2-1. Yeah, we can skip some gears in this thing, it's fine. Oh, we don't have that much weight behind us, so... It's only, I think, 85 ton or something. And we do want to keep an eye, just to be sure that we're not going to screw it up. Oh, we're screwing it up, we're screwing it up. Oh, yeah, we screwed it up. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get it in time. Okay, we need a break. Hold on. Uh, where's the throttle? Oh, I already forget what I'm doing. Okay, hit the brakes. Yeah, we- I think we messed up here. Yeah, we definitely did. We definitely, definitely did. That must have been set from a prior time. Okay, let's pull back forward. Dang it. That's okay. I'm a little bit rusty still, so it is fine, it is fine. We're just going to go ahead and start it in 1-2. I think that should be okay. We need to release our brakes first, though. Ah, uh, yeah, I didn't have my switch tool ready to go. Okay, let's go. Okay, we just need to get past this sign here. Uh, let's get the switch ready. There we go. Okay. And... We could probably just coast it. wait for it to get all the way past one way to always tell is if we switch it like right now once that last wheel flips the switch uh, we know we're past it okay let's go ahead and hit it into reverse there we go reverse it Release them brakes, and we are good. We are good. Okay. Now, we're going to jump out just for a bit here and make sure we're all lined up to go center of the track. And it looks like we are, so we're not going to be pulling into that garage, which is great. And the other two tracks seem to be lined up to be centered. Okay, let's get back inside our locomotive here. Okay, we can uh, throttle. We can go ahead and switch it to 2-2. Two, two. Okay, I think we're going to be good. We're going to go ahead and just run to the back here. And make sure everything's lined up properly. And it does appear that we are not... Right, let's pull out our switch just real quick here. Oh no, we're, we're lined up. Uh, let's see. Indeed, indeed. Yep. We go to the right... And then to the left, and we just back straight in right here. Beautiful. Beauty freaking full. Okay. Uh, let's get inside the loco. Oh, no, no, no. That's not where we're supposed to be at all. Okay. Let's 
Okay. Yep. And then once we get past that sign, we can uh, stop her, uh, drop the trailer, and go turn in our jobs. And there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, get her stopped. We're going to go ahead and just uh, lower the throttle. Hit this brake. Hit this brake. There we go. Stick this into neutral. Uh, we'll throw these back down to ones. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just shut her down. There we go. We go ahead and hit off the lights. And let's go deco decouple and turn these in. Here we are right now. Uh, first, we're going to apply the brake, right? There we go. And then let's go ahead and get decoupled here. Lines and the hooks okay let's go turn these in i don't know where the uh the place is so i'll got i'll meet you guys over there uh, before we head over there we're just gonna run in this shop real quick and see uh, if there's anything for sale flashlight cassette shovel cassette cassette lantern uh bob's old garage key Ooh. well let's see how much money we make all right here's the station office let's go ahead and get these turned in so we will turn this one in. Beautiful. We made 4,600. Uh, let's grab our cashola. I don't remember how we actually... Okay. And then let's turn this one in. And check, check. Beautiful, beautiful. Job done. Let's grab that cash. And we are up to 27,000. Beautiful. Uh, before we quit, we are going to go back over to the IKEA store. And we are going to grab Bob's old garage key uh, and pick up whatever it is that is in there. I don't remember. It's been a long time. Unlocks a work train. Okay, that sounds good. Yep. And check. Oh, nope. Do we already have that key or something? Oh, we need to deposit our cash. Duh. Okay. Okay, and check. There we go. We got the key. Now, do we have... Oh, so we actually have it on us. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab this. Uh, it's a receipt. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the key in our inventory and our lovely receipt. There we go. Okay. Well, I think that's going to be it, you guys. This was a pretty good one. Uh, it's kind of... It's really nice to get back into Derail Valley Simulator. Um, a little bit rusty on that one, but not too bad. I think it was fairly successful, uh, but I do plan on continuing the series on a regular basis at this point. Um, I'm not too sure how often I'll be doing it. Maybe not every day, uh, but maybe, and uh, likely every other day, probably, or every two days or something. But anyway, it's going to be uh, regular on the channel now. Uh, let's see if we have anything in the lost and found real quick. Okay, nope. Okay, but yeah, that'll be it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you in the next one where who knows where we'll be heading the next. Anyway, see you later, guys.